So the next one, everything we talked about is cool, but it'd be really cool if I could have Fiddler actually uh, run some code where I could do things. So I'm gonna show you how to do that. There's some common functions I might want to intercept. So I'm gonna go back into Fiddler here. And I'm gonna say, customize rules. This is gonna open up an editor. And I'll just show you an example here. I'm gonna find, okay. So down here, there's an event that gets fired. So in this case, it is on before request. So when the browser sends to the server before it gets sent to the server, I wanna intercept it. <clears throat> So here I'm programmatically making changes. So I could pull off that header we've been talking about. In this case, I'm just gonna say, if you, if the URL ends in .jpg, I wanna show the session highlighted in yellow. So I'm gonna hit Control F5. If I go back now, I can see all the JPEGs are in yellow. So not a great thing I would actually do because I can't even read that. Um, what I have done with it before is we use a lot of vendors for our website. And every vendor you talk to says, oh, you can include our JavaScript. It'll never affect your site, right? If we're slow, if it goes wrong, uh, it, it'll be fine. Just put it in the head and, and go move on. What I like to do then is I come in here and I actually write code. So I can just say, if I see, so I'm going to see if I have an example in here anywhere. So if it's my host name or my CDN, change the colors. If it's anybody else, make it fail. So I'm saying, Everybody that's not my primary web server or my CDN should get back a 404. And I've done this. It's a wonderful test to run to make sure that you have your site coded in a way that none of your third party partners can bring down your site, make it slow. When you do this, suddenly your page doesn't quite work. Then you can start to pinpoint and try to figure out which one of the vendors I'm using is causing me a single point of failure. Or again, here I could do a delay instead of a 404 and just make it actually, um, I'm gonna save those changes to, it's a great way for me to see that I'm not actually impacted by third party problems by doing that and I can do it programmatically. So again, there's a lot of power coming with that ability to programmatically do things. There's a non-exec action one, so I'll show you that. So I customized, so I'm gonna just do a clear here. I actually customize, so I'm just gonna go out to, see, where do I wanna go? I'll go to Bang, well, I'll go to, I'll go to Fiddler here. If I came in here and said, I, I want to maybe not see, oh, I don't know. For fun, I'll just do Telerik. I can say remove host, www.telerik. If I hit enter, you can see that it made it go away. So I actually did that using Fiddler script. So there's a, whatever they type down here, I basically extended Fiddler to say, when you see RH down there, I pulled off that host name and then I went through and hit all the ones that had that host. So again, this programmatic ability is pretty amazing to make modifications.